Well, we think that there's a real opportunity at the moment. We think that the market is focused on macro themes um, and whether that be what Donald Trump is going to do next um, or any one of a number of themes, but um, we think that the market is focused on those macro themes and it's very easy to take your eye off the ball and that is the bottom-up approach of you know, which companies are doing well over the next five years. So there's been a strong rotation uh, out of high quality names into value stocks, into the commodities businesses, the resource businesses over the last year. And uh, by and large, that's been a, a re-rating, so an increase in price earnings ratios. And um, that's a one-off. So you know, valuations go up once. What you've got to do then for those companies, those, those resource businesses, is deliver ongoing earnings growth. And we question that because the world global markets haven't really changed. It's still pretty soft out there around the world. I think you've got to break it into two. Yes, there have been a few disappointments. Um, a few of them we own. So we do have a small holding in Aconex in our small growth companies fund. That was very disappointing. We clearly got the valuation wrong there um, in buying that stock. Um, Brambles downgraded in, in January, um, HealthScope late last year. These are all good quality names that have had a one-off um, issue. And that doesn't really change our long-term view on those particular stocks, although Aconex, I'd have to say the uh, jury's out and we'll be doing a lot more work on them over reporting season. Uh, no, I see the, the general rotation um, as being a, a much more thematic issue, and that is people have been searching for um, an increase in price. Something, it, it's, it's the let's buy this and hope it comes up, it's, hope it goes up, and uh, based on rising commodity prices. And you know that's a great theme, but it's just not a long-term theme, and we like to stay focused on long-term themes. Because the one thing we've noticed after 20 years of investing this way is that these rotations do unwind. And when they unwind, they unwind quickly and they un unwind very strongly. That is, businesses that continue to deliver earnings per share growth year after year, who are devalued during these rotation periods, actually rebound very strongly when the market wakes up and sees what they've been delivering year after year for several years.